Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in North Tonawanda, New York, as a Sovtard gets pulled over and, well, he refuses to show his driver's license, of course, stating that he has the absolute right to not show it, pretty much, and uh, says all sorts of crazy shenanigans. And, uh, well, to boot, he's also driving a rental car, which you definitely need to get a driver's license to even have a rental car in the first place. So this guy... Well, he's just all sorts of nutty, so let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up? Hey, David. Hey. Tell you who he is yet? What's that? Tell you who he is yet? It's not. All right, let's just take him out and bring him back so we can identify him. Yep. I was just trying to see if we had anything on there so I could at least come up and already have his information, but it's a rental car. Yep. No idea who it is? No, I've never even seen this guy before. I blew right through the stop sign, but he is not, uh, he said he's, he doesn't have to stick around. I was like, okay, well, I'm advising you legally, you have to stay here. Yeah, he's detained. Okay, uh, let me use the fraud order logic here on this officer. Let me guess that stop sign had no statute on it, right? Okay, then, so it's unlawful. Now, uh, there's policy versus the law and constitution. That stop sign is merely a suggestion. It's merely a policy for uh, the employees of the city to stop at that point. It's not meant for a citizen to stop there, but for an employee of the city. So... And otherwise, it would be unconstitutional since it's uh, merely a sign with no statute attached to it. So, ah, whatever. Let's just continue on. Like you got a rental car, brother. brother. You, had to, uh, you got to have a contract for it, right? And a driver's license? Sure. I need to see that. Four ten four. Pardon me. I'm give you a little bit of insight. My, my uncle was first sergeant military police. Okay. My cousin is a police officer in Genesee County. Okay. Who is in Genesee County? That would be Morgan. So anyway. I also have had a federal security clearance of high security public trust, right? So I'm all about Constitution. Okay. So I need you as a public servant because am I a public servant or are you the public servant? So are you, you're correct. I'm the public servant. Good. You have an oath of office of that Constitution. Am I correct? What's the Tenth Amendment? So I'm not going to get into that. So with you. you don't. No, 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 don't know what it actually says, I suppose, because that's the one that grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And that has a trickle-down effect where, where it is written in uh, all state constitutions that uh, the local municipalities in their states have the right to create laws for their own little jurisdictions. So it's not just the federal constitution that matters as a result of the Tenth Amendment. It's all the other state and uh, local laws that you have to uh, be aware of, you empty-headed buffoon. We're going to have you step out of the car. You're not going to do anything. All right, come on, sir. Get out. Yep. I'm going to have you car. remove out of the car. So I'm going to record this you're, again. You're free to record. You can record whatever you like. I'm going to roll up the window. I'm going to have 203 start this way as well. 196 to 203 if you can enter this location. Next step is I call 911 and I get SWAT here. We are SWAT. We are SWAT, so... Good. You're an insurrectionist at this point in time. Because uh, once again, uh, dude, you are a total buffoon. Because they don't really fit the definition of, uh, of an insurrectionist, considering that they are... 
the lawful authority of the government. They uh, enforce the laws of the government. So, dude, uh, you need to get your facts straight. Because if you're trying to demand anything out of me, we need to I'll identify keep in you, mind, sir. I have no problem with giving you my license and what have you. What I'm doing is I'm ensuring you're abiding by your oath to the Constitution. So, we need to see your driver's license. You don't need to see anything from me because you are a public servant. I have the right to travel under the Ninth Amendment. Oh, come on now, dude. Uh, while the Ninth Amendment does grant you all these rights, uh, guaranteeing them pretty much, uh, you do have the right to travel. But here's the thing. There, there is still that matter of that pesky Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And, uh, well, there have been traffic laws in this country for, well, well over a century. In fact, uh, there's an old story of uh, President Ulysses S. Grant being arrested for speeding well, at one time, he was racing a carriage at one point in his presidency. Yeah, uh, that got kind of wild, I suppose. I have right, First Amendment right, freedom of exercise of religion. Freedom of exercise So what does religion. it have to do with you committing a vehicle clarify, and traffic law da, 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 Stop interrupting me. Oh, You're the public more servant. More first Amendment, Two freedom of exercise of religion, right? Does it state that So clearly? what I don't understand, sir, is what does it have to so, do with you not stopping at a stop sign That's what I'm getting to. Are you going to answer speeding? my question? No, I need to see your driver's no, license and registration. If you're not going to answer my question, then we're not going to Oh, no. Please don't tell me you're one of these idiots that actually believes the sovereign citizen movement is a religion. Oh, boy. That just brings it to a whole new level of stupidity right there, dude. You want to act like a public servant and answer my question, or do so, I? You, know, you want to act like you're the authority? So what you're going to do is, is turn this from a, just a simple traffic stop. So what I'm doing is I'm asserting license. my rights as a U.S. citizen and validating that you're not abiding by your oath con to the Constitution. So my job here today. So is to your job here today safety. is to enforce the law. Is that correct? Correct, which you violated. No, because the first, the, which is the supreme law of the land, Marbury versus Madison. If uh, that really has nothing to do with this particular situation right here. That was something that happened around 1803 when the outgoing president made a decision that was unconstitutional according to the uh, U.S. Supreme Court. In fact, it was the very first time that the Supreme Court ruled against the president. So it really has nothing to do with this particular scenario, dumbass. And besides, if this was unconstitutional, what's happening right now, then it would have been declared unconstitutional by the uh, U.S. Supreme Court. But guess what? Traffic laws and traffic stops have not been declared unconstitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court. Maybe there's been some cases that have gotten there, but as a whole, no. No, it hasn't been. So, dude, you really need to study up on any of this because as of this moment, it's official. You can't tell your head from your ass. So get to it. Get to cracking the books. If a law is created that violates a constitutional standard, it is automatically null and void. So, sir, is that how correct? does that have to do if with you have an oath to the Constitution? So that's what I'm getting to. Did you do what's the freedom of I don't of understand. Our so if you don't understand, I'm free to, to educate you. And are you going to listen, are you yelling at sir? Pennsylvania because versus you are Mims. Not listening to sir, me. Pennsylvania versus Mims says that we have the right to ask you out of the car. You don't have any rights. The First Amendment, separation of church and state. Yes. What in the bloody hell are you talking about? Separation of church and state has nothing to do with traffic enforcement, dipshit. But let's carry on because I want to hear this. Well rather insane argument that this uh, imbecile is tr going to try to put forward because, yeah, I can already tell it's going to be a total flop. That's Supreme Court case Supreme law. Supreme Court case, Marbury versus Madison. If a law is made that violates the constitutional standard, it's automatically null and void. Sir, you can either give us your license or you have to step out of the vehicle. It's your choice. Hmm. <sighs> Door's 
Yep. It's annoying, isn't it? I'm here till 10. I've already fought a course case in the North Cotton Wander. Just to let you know. I had it thrown out, it was dismissed. For the same principle I'm stating with you right now. Okay. Dude, just because it was dismissed doesn't mean you won. In fact, uh, most a lot of cases are dismissed because, well, a lot of uh, courts really don't want to deal with uh, a few thousand misdemeanors. They'd much rather dismiss them than uh, have them clog the system for years on end. But guess what? They can reopen the case as needed, so you keep this up, and I'm sure they will be glad to reopen the previous one. So do you think you have the authority? You violated vehicle and traffic law. Which law is that? 1172A. State law? New York State vehicle and traffic law. Who? State, US, state constitution refers to the U.S. Constitution as the supreme law of the land. Is that correct? We're not doing this, sir. If you're not doing it, then I'm not doing it. Okay. This 203 responded. 203, did you say you're responding here? Yep, I'm on my way there now. Done for. Calling 911. Four. County, just your advice, this driver's calling 911. Yeah. Uh -huh. County 911, where's your emergency? Yeah, I don't know where it exactly is. What road am We're I on? We're on Rui Road, sir. Do we? We're on Rui Road. Rui? Okay, I'll let you, the officer explain. Right now I have a couple police officers. I'm trying to assert my rights under the Constitution. First Amendment separation of church of state, which states clearly in the First Amendment that the freedom of exercise of religion, that freedom of exercise, if Congress can't pass a law, then they can't violate the, the judicial department, can't enforce the law, that's supreme law of the land. I'm asserting that with these officers, they're pulling me over for a traffic violation, which is state law. And the, on the federal level, they refuse to be, abide by their oath of office of the Constitution. Now, they're acting under the Tenth Amendment, which states clearly to the state or the people. It's not exclusive to the state. So that said, they don't have any authority nor jurisdiction in this matter. Even if I did go through a stop sign, there's nobody that was hurt or injured, which doesn't make it a crime. And since I follow common law, which is five of the Ten Commandments, no murder, no theft, no coveting, no burying, false witness, and no adultery, they are currently committing an insurrection. Okay, uh, yeah, I will admit that this guy is a certifiable nut job, so I won't interrupt from this point forward because uh, arguing with this guy is just, uh, well, not worth my time anymore. I mean, this guy is incredibly stupid to begin with. I mean, just listen to that argument right there. I, I've heard bad ones, but this one takes the cake. Well, I don't know if I did or not. That's what they're proclaiming, but state law doesn't supersede federal law. Federal law, First and Tenth Amendment, as well as the Ninth Amendment apply here, and they're violating the rules of the Constitution, which in turn would make them insurrectionists. Now, I have police officers in my family and what have you. Sir, my name is Richard Ewart. Driver's Richard license, York? Ewart. E-W-E-R-T. And just for fun, because I, I don't have any problem with giving them a, my license and what have you, I'm just kind of asserting my rights at the moment. My driver's license number, if you need it, is eight. Okay. So again, there were... If you want to have the argument about it being commercial or what have you, because that's what driving is referencing, that's why you would need a license if you're working under commercial, which I technically am at the moment, but nevertheless, the ninth moment still applies. Do you have an emergency? The emergency is these cops are violating my constitutional rights okay, and they we're refuse to leave. on the way over to speak with you. You can speak with the lieutenant when he gets there. But unfortunately, right now, you're tying up an emergency line for somebody that could be in cardiac arrest or having trouble breathing or having chest pain. Well, they did try to say that I have to step out of the vehicle and they're trying to demand things okay. out of me. We're okay. acting like they have the authority when they're public service. On the way there, you can speak with the lieutenant when he gets there, okay? 
Yeah. All righty. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Where were you headed to when you were driving down there? You know, I'm delivering some food. Where are you delivering? Go ahead. It? Well, you've been doing DoorDash for I've been doing Uber and like... 10-4, yeah, we heard. Like I said, I don't have any problems with you guys. I'm not a defund the police or anything like that. I'm fully on your side, but when it comes to constitutional rights, especially with the Democrats being the way they are, I'm making sure that I'm asserting my rights. Do you have that rental agreement on you, sir? No, it's actually at home. I guess my thing is, is, is you don't either don't believe me that you ran directly through a stop sign, or I, you didn't stop at all. You went directly through a stop sign and are speeding. Well, I wouldn't say I was speeding. I wouldn't know that. But again, the stop sign, to me, I'm not, I didn't see the stop sign. So if I did, it's because I didn't see it. That's fine. And we could so, have gone a whole different route over this. Other than exactly, and right. I just wanted to ask you questions, but and I needed not for you to answer. answer me questions. It is I was my super job. Cordial to you, I came up to you. All it I doesn't said is make I need a to see your driver's license. Again, you're the public servant, right? Correct. But so no if I ask you a question, if you wanted to keep it cordial and everything, you would right. have answered the question. Right, but you're not even identifying who you were to me. I don't have to. You do though, because no, you're I driving don't. on a New York State roadway. You need to Ninth produce. Amendment. Will you smooth brain soft tart? I will. Uh, See your Ninth Amendment and raise you a Tenth Amendment with uh, this statute right here, and uh, I'm sure you'll have to fold soon enough. Sir, it has nothing to do right with the travel. Sir, you can speak with my supervisor. I'm the supervisor. Okay. It's New York State law. This is a traffic stop. Identify yourself, or you're going to be arrested for obstruction and a misdemeanor. All right. You have an oath the Constitution. Is that correct? Yes. There we go. Okay. It's time to get out of the car and identify yourself. So, if you go and do what you're doing, yep. you're violating the girl. Nope. Yes. You're, accused, you're detained right now. You're accused of committing a crime, a vehicle and traffic law. You have to identify yourself. It's basic when you're 16 years old to get your license. Mm -hmm. I'm Lieutenant Split, and it's 203. You're going to identify yourself to these officers right now. Why are you not identifying yourself? I already did actually on the 911 call. I gave him my uh, driver's license number and everything. But as far as that's concerned, yeah, again, you have an oath of the Constitution. Are you going to allow me to speak? I'll clarify this for you. Yep. Are you going to identify yourself? Are you going to allow me to clarify yes. everything? Yes. So I already did on the 911 call. I actually gave you, did you happen to take notice of the driver's license number that I gave? That you could ran it? Well, we wouldn't be able to do that because we're having a conversation while okay. you're giving that so to either dispatch. Way, right? We have a hold to the Constitution. Now, keep in mind, I don't hate anybody. I've, again, as I iterated with them, my uncle was first sergeant military. My cousin is uh, works in as police over in my county, Jensen County. Right? So I have no problem with the police. What I'm doing right now is I'm asserting my rights. I'm making sure you're abiding by your oath to that Constitution. Why is that important to this? Because what I'm saying to you right now, because as much as you're trying to come at me, keep in mind I have the full legal right to remove Joe Biden from his office right now. Uh, no, you don't have that legal right to remove any president from office. But you know what? I would like to see you march up to the White House, knock on that door, and demand to see the president and just try to arrest him. And I would like to see you try that because, well, it would be one funny little spectacle to behold as the Secret Service pins you to the ground and haul you off to the nearest uh, loony bin. With the same contacts. Are you okay? Do Are you, know, you do, okay? Do you, do you know what year it is? Do you know what year it is? Do you know what year it is? Okay, let me clarify this for you because you want to have this kind of argument. Do you proclaim December the 12th month? Of the year? Yes. Even though the word itself states literally means to come to Sir, I don't know if this is a mental health issue. I don't know if this is a mental health issue. I want to help people too. Is this a mental health issue or you think that you sounds like you do have one because if you proclaim the summer to be the 12th month when it literally means a 10th, means you're probably not in your right mind. Identify yourself to these police officers, please. 
right now, identify yourself to these police officers. So are you doing an insurrection against people at the you're, moment? You're about to be removed from this vehicle. Shut the car off. Shut the car off. Shut right. the car off. Let's go. Ready? Right. Right. Shut, Shut the car off. Shut it off right now. Come on. Shut it off. Get out of the car. On your stomach. Oh, so now you, you just committed right assault. On your stomach right now. Give me your hand. Now you just committed assault. Relax your arm. Relax your arm. I am fully Relax your arm. Right. You committed assault. Nope. You tried to close the window on me if I told you to get out of the vehicle. Taking multiple chances to identify yourself. Now I told you quite often that you're in structures in the people. You double cut on them? No. Do you have any weapons in the car? No, now you're performing illegal search and seizures. Violation of the Fourth Amendment. Hey, you smooth brain. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that car is not your property, so they can search it. And since you're being arrested, well, that property that is currently inside of the vehicle can be uh, taken as evidence against you. So, dude, uh, you need to shut your mouth and get a lawyer before, well, making yourself look even dumber than you already are. Alright, All right, sir. Alright, brother. If you want, roll to your side here. And sit on your bottom. No. Sit up. Ready? Up on your feet. One, two, right, one, three. three. Okay. Back to three. Please pat him down. Yes, sir. I don't have any weapons. No, oh, we gotta check you anyway. I have a right to wear them anyway under the second amendment. Okay. And that's where I will end this video right here. Because, dude. Uh, yeah, you do have the right to bear arms under the Second Amendment, but uh, they have to ask you that just in case. That way, you don't have any surprises for them waiting at any given moment. I mean, it's just common damn sense. And, uh, well, I think common sense, way, along with uh, your brains, waved bye-bye to you a long time ago. Now, he was charged with obstruction of justice and uh, given a, well, court date to appear at. And the uh, company that owns the rental car requested that it be towed to one of their facilities and, uh, and they would take care of the rest. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?